Now, I've got also um, some prior uh, Hansard dialogue between myself and Professor Skerritt, uh, where he said that there's no evidence that the stop code on read-through uh, occurs um, in regards to the uh, mRNA vaccine. Um, now, I've found a study that goes back to about 2011 that shows that the use of methyl pseudouridine did actually have stop code on read-through. I'm just curious to know why Professor Skerritt or why um, this wasn't picked up by the TGA, uh, as, because there was another FOI, uh, FOI uh, 3604, where a question was put to the TGA about stop code on read-through, and you said there were no, you had no records uh, in regards to that. Um, but it would appear that there is actually evidence that there is stop code on read-through when you use methyl pseudouridine instead of uridine. Um, so the, the evidence that was provi provided to the TGA doesn't show that there's stop code on read-through. The stop code on read-through was evaluated as part of pre-market submission and found to be acceptable. OK, because I'm happy to table this document here uh, that says uh, stop code through, you know, it's, there was similar levels of stop code on read-through. Um, and this was done, uh, I remember, uh, 2020. So this was prior, just prior to, um, oh no, 2000, yeah, 2015. So this was this was a study done in 2020. I'm just sure. I'm just asking why the TGA wouldn't have been aware of the stop code on read through risk uh, and well, why it didn't the, address this I, FOI. I think, as I think Dr. Kerr has just indicated, Senator, we 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 were aware of the. Um, of the nature of, of the stop code on function, stop code on read through. I think you cited FOI 3390 document 11, is that correct? Yes. yes. That, so that, that's not to do with stop code on read through, this is FOI 3604. Yeah, but, stop but code on. I just also would highlight that in um, question on notice uh, SQ 24000236, um, you did ask the question, why did Pfizer feel the need to insert three stop codons and do the stop codons work for methyl pseudouridine? And we, uh, we responded to that and we provided... Yeah, I know you did. And, and now I've subsequently found a study that says that stop codon read-through does occur. So Professor Skerritt said, said there was no evidence that it did occur and I've actually found evidence prior to the rollout of the vaccine that it did occur. So on the basis of that study, which, which as I say, we, we don't have in front of us, if you'd like us to respond to that, yep. we can do that. I can do that, that's fine. Authorised G. Rennick People First Chermside.